All right, so previously we finished off with the donuts and the legends configuration. In this video, we're gonna go through the detail labels plus the tooltip settings. Now, as always, you have your report where you can go through already pre-built examples within the pie or the donut view. And you also have some additional views that you can go through. So for example, switch between inside or outside labels or even switch the tooltip to a report page option. So this is just something to explore whilst you are using the sample report. But for now, we're gonna be moving down back to the training view where we're gonna build everything from scratch. So as always, add an instance of a donut visible, resize it, disable the background and title because we don't need them and go back to the visual setup. In this case, we're gonna go for region plus, let's say in this case, actually budget. There we go. And now for the second level, let's add the department. All right. Now, going into the formatting options right here, you can see we have an option of detail labels. Opening that up provides us with additional settings. The first one is the placement. So this is where you can choose whether you wanna place the labels inside or outside. Now, of course, something to keep in mind is that whenever you place a label inside, if it doesn't physically have enough room to be displayed, those labels are not gonna be shown. So that's just something to keep in mind. Also, if you use the label placement outside, you can scroll down to the bottom and you have three additional settings which are just for the connectors. So you can adjust the connector length, color, and width. The main reason for that is because, especially in that reports where you have darker themes, these default colors are not gonna be really crucial or essential for you because those are black, right? They're not gonna be visible. So you have the option of switching to something else, adjusting the width, adjusting the length, to make sure that the user can still see all the elements. Now, if we move up a little bit more, as always, we do have the option of configuring the fonts. So you have your colors, sizes, families, and styles. And afterwards, you actually have a setting that allows you to customize the label. So once we open that up, you can see that we work with the three main categories of elements within a donut. And that is the category, the data value, and percent of total. And you have a lot of different variations that you can choose between. What I'm gonna be doing in this case is I'm actually gonna be transitioning into all detail labels because I wanna see also the value, the percentage value, and the category. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm gonna be using these settings afterwards. So the display unit, value decimals, and percentage decimals. Now, display unit is something that you're probably already familiar with. It allows you to choose the shortening for the value. So for example, if we put it on millions, you can see that all the values are essentially abbreviated into millions. And that's what I'm gonna actually be using in this case. Now, the second thing is gonna be value and percentage decimals. Now, I do know, and you probably know this as well, is that by default, these can be configured to the column tools directly right here or through the relationship view under the properties segment. Now, what we allow you to do in this case through just the formatting options is you can just change them without touching the original format for the column. So for example, I can wanna say that for the value decimals, I'm gonna be using two. In the million case, it didn't really change because that's the typical automatic order for it. Whereas for the percentages right now, you can see I have two decimals. But what I wanna do is I wanna force them to be rounded up so I have full percentages displayed right here. Now, going into the next segment, which is the tooltip settings, I'm actually gonna close the detail labels. I'm gonna open up tooltip settings. Here, you can see that you also have the option of choosing between custom, which is zoom charts tooltip, or you can use the Power BI built-in tooltip. So which and more works better for you. The only difference between these two is that if you wanna use the report page tooltip, since that is a native element within Power BI, you need to change this to Power BI tooltip. Just keep that in mind. In my case, I'm just gonna keep it on custom tooltip. Now, what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm gonna be changing up the value and its appearance within the tooltip. So for example, the display unit, I'm gonna actually choose none. Value decimals, I'm gonna force to be on two. Percentages, let's just say I wanna be extra specific and I wanna showcase three. So now what I'm essentially doing here is you can see that the chart on the initial load has a nice looking overview value, right? You have your category, you have an abbreviated value plus a rounded up percentage. But if you hover over one of the slices, you can see that the tooltip holds a completely different variation for the value. 
So essentially, this just allows you to minimize the details that you have on the chart at a single time. And it allows you to have a more, let's say, overview value on the initial load and a specific view in the tooltip. So we're going to go into the donut tab. And here, I'm going to go to the report page sample that I built. So like I said, if you want to have a report page tooltip, you need to go under the tooltip settings and change it to be Power BI built in. Once you do that, you can close this tab and actually scroll down and find another tab called just tooltip. The reason why we have two tabs is because the tooltip settings is controlled by us, whereas the tooltip, since it's a native element, is fully controlled by Microsoft. So those are two separate entities. Now, once you're in here, all you have to do is just choose the type, whether it's a default tooltip or the report page tooltip. And then afterwards, if you set it as a report page tooltip, don't forget to choose the page that you want to display within it. Once that is done, I can hover over marketing, for example, and I can see payouts for marketing over time. All right, that's going to be it for detail labels and tooltips, and I'll see you in the next chapter.